Institute of Technology, Sholapur in Electronics Department. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about the Maxwell's equation in part 1. Learning outcomes. At the end of this lecture, students are able to derive the Maxwell's equation in integral form and in a point form using Faraday's law and Ampere's law. Now, what are Maxwell's equations? Maxwell's equations describes the relationship between the changing electric field and magnetic field. Maxwell's equations are the extension of the known work of Gauss, Faraday's and Ampere. Now, let us see how electric field and magnetic fields are related. Let us consider a current carrying filament placed across the magnetic field. Will there be a magnetic field around this capacitor? Yes, it is observed by the Maxwell's that the changing magnetic field flux produces the electric field and changing electric flux produces the magnetic field which are nothing but a Faraday's law and Ampere's law. The Faraday's law which is stated as the electromotive force around the closed path is equal to the negative rate of change of magnetic flux enclosed by that path which is mathematically given by EMF is equal to minus d phi by dt. Now, but what is EMF? EMF is nothing but a electric field across the length. Magnetic flux is the magnetic flux density across the surface. When we substitute these two terms in equation 1, they, we will get this equation 2 which is nothing but a Maxwell's equation in integral form derived from the Faraday's. Now, when we apply the stroke theorem to the right hand side of equation 2, then the integral E dl will be replaced by del cross E bar over the surface and when we equate that then both, both the side are with respect to the surface then we reduce that equation to del cross E bar is equal to minus dou B by dou T which is nothing but a Maxwell's equation derived from Stokes law of po in point form. Ampere's law what the Ampere's law state? The Ampere's law state that line integral of magnetic field intensity along the single closed path is always equal to the current enclosed by that path. Let us see in the mathematical how the statement is given. Close integral of HDL EL is equal to I which is but what is I? I is nothing but a current density over the surface that is integral of j ds now the j is nothing but a current density which is due to the current due to the resistance and current due to the capacitance the current due to the resistance is given by sigma e bar and current in a capacitor is given by dou d by dou t when we substitute the value of j of c and j of d the equation will you getting is the equation 4. In this equation um, when we equate them we are getting the Maxwell's equation in integral form derived from the Ampere's law. When we similarly when we apply the Stokes theorem to the equation on the right hand side in equation 4 then integral h dl will be replaced to a integral over the surface del cross h bar then we equate that equation. These are the equations which are relating over the surface. Then it is reduced to del cross h bar is equal to sigma e bar plus dou d by dou t. This is nothing but a Maxwell's equation derived from the Stokes law in point form. Now let us see, observe. If you observe here, there are two vectors which are representing with the red line and blue line. The blue line are indicating the vector field of electric and red lines are indicating the vector field in a magnetic field. Now, let us consider a loop, current carrying a loop placed which is shown by green solid line. This green solid line which is nothing but a special position 
where we are representing if you observe that this is nothing but a rate of change of the magnitude of the magnetic field with respect to time uh, and it is associated with the electric field it is parallel to the electric field then this is nothing but a maxwell's faraday's law and if we observe the yellow path which is a special position special position associated with the electric field that if you see that it is parallel with the magnetic field that this is nothing but a rate of change of the electric field which is associated which is nothing but a maxwell's ampere's law in this equation that it is associating with the following the faraday's law as well as the ampere's law let us assume imagine a wave of electric field in z direction then the moving electric field leads to the change in x direction in which the wave is propagating to the rate of change of the magnetic field and the changing magnetic field leads to the change in the rate of change of the magnitude of the electric field in a x direction that which are nothing but wave equations for the maxwells that's why thus we conclude that the maxwells equations provide the mathematical background for the studying of the electromagnetic waves the remaining part of this maxwell's equations we will be studying in a part 2 lectures of the maxwell's equation the references which i had referred for this are listed over here thank thank you